be look, uh, the next neckline we'll be looking at is the um, V neckline. So we're going to use 50% tightening. 50% is 2 um, 4 cm of the dart measurement. So the 2 cm, from here 2 cm is on the broken line. 2 cm. So you just connect to your point X. You slash. I'm going to use the waistline. Let me slash it open now. Connect to my point. Slash it open. Then I close this start. We repeat the same thing. Now, the depth of the neckline is also dependent on what you want. Please note the 1 cm here will have to be transferred to move, transfer to where either on the dart or take it out from the side. So let's go in, let's go down by 6 inches or 6.5. We can also go down to the depth of the bust. To the bust line so but let's do six and a half then i'll go in by you also do the same thing replace this to redraw your shoulder Draw your shoulder. Twelve point five. So this is my new shoulder line. This is my new shoulder. with the new dart that we just took in it has affected the shape of the sp of the shoulder line so i'm doing this to get the straight sp to place my my ruler so that i can get the the line that i want so my new sp i can take it let's say 6 cm then i'll take it down to 6 cm Take it down to some neckline um, v neck can be wide and down to even your cleavage the boss line but for the purpose of this class we're just doing the regular kind of v neck line so i can take it 6 cm 7 cm because this is my new shoulder point This is my new shoulder point. So I can take six, seven cm. Seven cm from my MP. Seven cm here. Then I connect. So you might decide to have a sharp V, straight V, or you might decide to have a curvy V. It's your preference, depending on the design. So just take it so I'm taking it to my bus point bus line bus line measurement MP to the connects to this, so you decide you can take it low as low as you want, but this is for this class. So, all you do if you want to redraw your armhole line, you do the same thing 
you withdraw then then for the bag also you do the, you take out whatever it is that you took out from the from the MP since I've gotten my shoulder line with this let's assume this is going to be a sleeveless so this can be removed so this is what it's going to look like you can if you're going to have V at the back the neckline V let's say we're having V neckline back and front we're going to do the same thing came in by 7.5 cm 7 or 7.5 7 cm so I'll come here 7 cm then I'm going to connect so how low you want it you can take it below your for the neckline the lower the lower back there is also tightening at the lower back so you can come down from your bust line maybe by five depending on how low you want it you can come up by come down by four so you connect so if you're going to have a low back line you still have to tighten the back connect to your 7 cm so on this back line This is the original slanted back. And from that, let me see if I have the slanted back that the zip side has not been removed. I need to show us, I need to make it clear. Okay, for this, let me use this one. Come in, let me draw the neckline, 7 cm. 7 cm then you come down to your bust line if you want a lower lower back line say you come down by 5 cm then you connect and your bust line if you measure from your bust line you come down by 5 cm of course you can still measure from here to determine where you want it from your center back line MP center back um, nip um, the nip or what will I call it now the center back line you can come from where the bust uh, the, the the neckline starts from then point O basically point O yes you come from point O you can take it to the measurement where you want it but if you want it lower you can just come down on your bust line and measure how you know you want it. Making sure your bra doesn't show if that's what you want. But if you want it to show, you can do more than that. So you connect. If you want the sharp V, if you want the curvy V, you connect. Already we have some slanted connect this way connect it to this way we already have some slanted and um, see um, this, this slanted and um, CD has been some measurement has already been taken off so we have like um, almost 1.1.3 cm taken off you can still take out tighten the shoulder tighten the back line the center back line by coming in on this second this slanted cb and still this is one point okay from the slanted cb you can come in by zero half inch or 7.5 inches as um 0 0.5 is half between 0 0.5 0 0.75 one inch from this cb not the slanted 
so but i'm going to use 0 0.75 here to avoid gaping at the back also 0 0.75 so all you have to do is to connect reconnect this to your this will not be your slanted CV connect back to the waist so on this you have to redraw your neckline this is how you're supposed to you, you have to draw it the other way I did it like this First of all, get it before you connect. So you get it before you connect to the CB line, the new slider CB. So I've taken out 0.75. So this is now my new CB line. All you have to do is either come here, you connect. Let's do it this way to be clearer. From the connect back to your point two CA slanted back. So this is now your new. All you have to do is to just this is how you're gonna cut. Cut through this way. Now this is now your new neckline. So this is it. This is now your new neckline. Then you hold your dart. Now note that we have um, the SP is bigger at the back. The shoulder line is bigger at the back. All we have to do, if we are not, remember we took out the SS we have SS SP like 2.5 cm or thereabout on our shoulder line already. We already have SS SP. Since we are not putting sleeve, all we have to do is to just get the same measurement we have here and we draw our armhole. If you're making a sleeveless, a sleeveless top or dress, you just redraw your armhole. You connect. The new angle to the new SP. Just withdraw your angle. This is what you just do basically. That way you have an equal. equal shoulder width. That's it basically. Let's cut out this for the neckline. Mm -hmm. I want to create a design you like at the back. Okay. Making it really sleeveless, create your C curve, whatever you decide. But for the purpose of this, because I want to show us sometimes when we sew a vinyl, it's it has that bulge, it's usually sharp. So if you notice that the edge is sharp, this seems this seems quite um looks quite um relaxed. But you can take up 0.25 cm, 0.25 cm on the new shoulder point and connect back to SP. 
just at the at the shoulder at the MP this is the back at the MP you come in by 0.25 you come down by 0.25 and connect back to SP you don't take 0.25 at SP you don't take it you don't touch it just connect back to SP that way the shoulder will look a bit relaxed This applies to mostly sometimes to see a um, sleeveless sleeveless um, v-neck but if you if you cut your pattern and you notice a little bit of sharpness at the MP go down by 2 0.25 or 0.5 depending on how sharp it is but make sure you connect it back to SP. Don't come down by anything. Just come down at the at the MP and connect to the SP. Don't come down by anything. And of course, if you practice and notice that it's still bulging, you can still come down a bit. Depends. I have worked with, when I have a sharp V, I usually take it down. You can also do your research and find out most of these things so that's that about the v-neck line v-neck line so that's it and we're doing is the sweetheart neckline so um i have gonna head to to increase i'll be using i used 50 cm 50 inches um sorry 50 percent shoulder tightening so i've gone ahead to mark two here mark two here so this is my new dad i'm going to i'm gonna ahead to slash this because i'm just going to close the gap to create my neckline the sweetheart neckline so I need to redraw my shoulder. So I need to take this down. I'll redraw my shoulder. Shoulder. So So if you're making a sleeveless, you can just do it to this point. But if you're creating a sleeve, you need to get your exact shoulder so that you can fix your sleeve. So I am, since I'm not making a sleeveless, I'm starting, this is where my shoulder is stopping at. So I need to get the width of the, of the neckline on the shoulder. Shoulder point. So this is going to be. I'm going to use um. Zero point um one point ten. One point seven five. One point seven five. Inch. That's about one three quarter. I'll come here. I will need to trim this off first of all before I continue with that. to create your sweetheart neckline you need to get your square you need to get a square line to 
be able to get that. So I'll try, I'm creating the square line here. So from this, measure 2.5 from my uh, 1.75, 1 1 three quarter on my neckline. So I'm going to get the straight line to rule. So this falls within 11.5. Of 11.5 cm or 4.5 inch, so I'm going to use 4.5 inch here, 4.5 inch here. Then you determine the width, the depth of the neckline. So I'm going to use seven from my neck point there. I'll be CF. Then also come to that place and measure my 11 cm 11 11.5 cm or 4.5 inch so let's go for 4.5 inch and I'm not confused so I'm going to rule before I rule that line I'm going to get the mid point between this MP to the depth of this neckline. So I have 10 inches here. So I'm going to use 5.5. This depends on the sweetheart neckline. It comes up, then down. So I'll use 5.5. Depends on how you want it. I'm using 5.5. This is where it falls. 5.5 inch. On that 5.5 inch, I'm going to come out by half inch from that point 4.5 along that 4.5 line I'm gonna come out at four, four inch, uh, one half inch then I connect now from my new MP which is my MP has been moved which I moved to the new MP connect like this then to connect to my now depend like I said depending on where you want if this is not working for you like it's a bit high here because of the depth you can go down by six inches so six inches is somewhere here all you have to do is to come to that point again and bring out that half inch on that 11 4.5 inch straight line that you marked then connect to your from MP connect so this is not the new way but this one is no longer needed then you take your color to create the sweetheart From that point five, uh, point six. So this is where the point six is. That I took down. Take your curve. To create, connect from that point to the ten cm. Ten inches at the center front. So this is what it's going to look like. Now, this place is sharp, it's like um, a square kind of, this is a square kind of, um, around this side is square, kind of sweetheart neckline. So, if you want it, I think this can be, If you want it to have the the loop effect around the side you can now go in because some sweetheart has that loop effect around the side and then you take your curve
this one. neckline looks like you can also make it more curvy here So this is what this looks like. So you can now cut through to this side or you cut. It depends on your preference. Then you come to your neck point and you cut. of the tightening so you can go down by one cm connect it to your shoulder on your MP you can go down by one cm and connect back to your shoulder which reduces the sharp effect said if you want a bigger armhole you can increase it it doesn't matter you can increase the depth of your armhole your the depth of the shoulder line you can increase it if you're making it sleeveless increase it and connect it back to your armhole if this is too small you can increase and connect i've explained that the other neckline so and if you want it slim, you can do this. Then if this is too sharp, when you, you're done joining, you can still go ahead and reduce maybe by 2.5 cm. But it takes a lot of, you just have to figure it out. Because if you tighten the neckline, it's, you just have to withdraw your shoulder. And by the time you withdraw your shoulder, it gives, this happens. So you trim out your neckline properly. This is going to be wide. Like I said, I just used this just sample. So this is what the sweetheart neck line looks like. that. 